The pass goes out wide to Carr. Carr puts the palm out at Thomas Carr. Tom's dream was always to play first grade rugby league and for St George. When Tom was away playing sport at school, um, the teacher would put a football on his seat. We loved supporting Tom in everything he did, but particularly playing rugby league because we knew how much uh, of a dream it was for him to play first grade football. Two years ago, I had taken a pre-workout. Um, I was taking it uh, for work as I was working as a personal trainer. Um, I was working full time as a personal trainer and training full time with an NRL team. I wasn't taking the, uh, the pre-workout for performance enhancing. I was just taking it to stay awake. Obviously having long hours in the gym and at training took it out of me a fair bit and I wanted to sort of, yeah, stay awake, stay alert um, with everything I could do. I was in the car on the way to my girlfriend's place and I got a call and answered it and it was uh, someone from New South Wales Rugby League talking about how I've tested positive for, um, yeah, for two substances. Um, and yeah, I called my dad straight away. I was in Bonville at the time playing golf with some friends. I got a phone call from Tom. He was devastated. He's a happy-go-lucky kid, but um, the sound of his voice, you know, I really worried about him and, um, and advised Jen to get him out of his room and get him into the TV room and sit with him and I'm flying back the following morning so we could be with him. I was thinking the source was uh, a pre-workout um, because it's the only thing I'd taken outside of the club. Um, and I thought, um, how can we get this proven that I didn't take it on purpose? His mother uh, and I spent a lot of time running around the local sports supplement stores to find the batch that Tom had taken so we could get it tested. We spent a lot of time talking to lawyers to see who could help him, albeit we absolutely agree with the process that he's responsible for what he puts in his body. And as a consequence, we're endeavouring to find out what it was that he took and mistakenly. As I had to um, accept that I was going to be banned for um, a number of years, I didn't really know what to think, especially with around my friends. I knew my family had known, but um, I hadn't told my friends anything for a few months. But they, they knew something was up for a while because they knew the person I was. I would never stop playing rugby league by choice. Interestingly, his manager continued to say to Tom, you've done nothing wrong. And I had to correct him every time saying he has because he's put something in his body that wasn't given to him by his club. It hit me pretty hard not being able to play rugby league. I'd played it for, um, for 21 years before that. I didn't really have that team environment around so I was down on a fair few days. Um, some of my mates made their debuts the next year. Um, and as much as I said I wanted to go, I couldn't, couldn't bear going to the game and watching. All the kind of hard work's gone down the drain and I have to start again at a different club. And yeah, it's, it's, it's made it a lot tougher now, especially I'm two years older and um, yeah, got to start again. My experience has taught me that it's, it's on myself uh, what I put into my body. Um, it's not on anyone else. I can't blame anyone else for taking something that I shouldn't have taken. It definitely is the biggest regret in my life. He's desperate to get back and play again. And we're here to support him as a family to do so. We're watching everything he takes. Um, he's careful with whatever he does. And you know we're just hopeful that this two years hasn't destroyed his dream of playing first grade football.